Jeff talks. It's me, Maya Jeff talk, and welcome to another translucent Monday. Hello, Minty Nicholas Mello. I heard you walk into my studio calling for your lechia. Which lechia were you looking for? None of these lechia. That's right. Today we're finally making a menti lechia. But wait, what about this Nicholas Mello's lechias? Let's introduce them before starting this episode. This is the first Lechia my chef took introduced on her channel. It's the Lala Lupsy Tiny's Lechi Malo Lechia. It uses a Lala Luxy Tiny's pink cat with repainted eyes and mouth. This one is squishy lechi mallow lechia. She uses a silicone squishy and wire there are fabric bows and my chef just put it together in the dollhouse life hacks season two this is Strawberry Shortcake Lechia It's just strawberry shortcakes Custard that she find on eBay for an okay price And put a red bow on custard to make her Look like the lechi malo lechia. And this is another lechi malo lechia. In Poland, my chef Jack bought a furniture set dolls that included this pink cat and she thought she was Lechia so she became Lechia it's mostly the pink color of this cat she also glued some leaves on her to decorate her while in Poland. Okay, Lechi Malo Nicholas Malo, thank you for introducing your Lechias to your viewers and my viewers. Start 
finding her. You're right, Lechi Mallow Nicholas Mallow. Let's find him, the Lechia he's been looking for. The body. This will be the structure of the body, while this will be the head. So, I'm doing a macaron with something inside, design for the minty lechia. The blue was for the reference to the fact that Minty Nicholas Mello has blue hair, but the pink and red I still want in Lechia's design. Just to make it feel like it's still Lechia, but Minty variant. Just something in there that keeps the essence of the character while it's a different variant. And I want something translucent, so I want something inside it. So I want some red in it, so I'm going to insert the wire through this and insert it like that and now you are going to add some red let's do a red raspberry design it looks like this we're going to now bend the wire so it could enter through here Now we have this. Now we're going to add this pink on top of that. But this is short, so Let's do it with this side, and this can become the tail. So, trying to be inserted the right way. That's affecting translucency. Oh, wait. Red raspberry. I had to do this part of camera because it was quite uncertain if I could do this, but turned out we can still see the raspberry through the pink bead. And there's a raspberry here and there. What about this and the blue bead? Let's get it on. Okay. I guess we'll have to do this. And I were going to pull the wire like this. This will be for the tail, so I'm going to bend it like this in order to close it for after building this up. Now we're getting the blue 
head on the blue head so I'm getting it on like this It's also quite translucent, so I may add something to the back of this blue bead. I think I'll cut up some green sequins and add some minty elements to the back of this but first I'll have to bend the wire in order to create the cat head okay so it looks like this and I'm pulling and pulling it come on you can do it I want that raspberry to be visible through the translucent plastic beads. It looks like this. Come on, focus. It's focusing on my face. Why did I choose the front camera that likes to focus on my face instead of this? It looks like this. Okay. Now we're going to have to do a lot of alterations in order to make it look like a stylized cat, but make it look finished and actually like something was meant to be done there, some pink for fabric that I'm just going to use for the tail we're doing a pink tail so I've trimmed it but there's pink hairs coming out of it okay now it's safe to stitch it together, but the hairs need to be cut just a bit shorter because those are too long. Much better. And I will stitch it inside a pencil. It has been stitched. Now it's time to flip the tail fabric over in order to put it on the wire tail on now it's time to put it on the tail and stitch it together to hold it in tail stitched on what about hiding this wire the hairs I've cut off from the faux for pink fabric. That's right. We're going to add them in to balance the cat features and the bead features in this. Uh, I think I'll need to stitch a little more 
and trim a little more to make it look good and have the cat and the bead features well balanced in this design I think I'll work with that I'm just going to glue some pink onto her face the pink faux fur fabric Dab on some glue and I'm going to blend it in so it looks nice but I will keep the blue the blue is still there the pink was there to hide some of the flower shape so this creature will become a cat and now with a black marker going to draw a mouth and eyes to this little Lechia. I think that would look better if I added some ears. Hmm. How do I add ears now? Put a little bit of green flower sequins look good under the blue face. Let's try! I've added the green sequins under the blue face this pink at the head I'm not sure if I like it so pink is my favorite color but the blue face with the pink so far I feel it would look better the entire head would be blue so I went over the pink with cobalt blue to fix that just so it looks a bit better just at the head much better now that blue part here Gets to match up with the cobalt blue face. Match it up. I've also decided to do some green flower sequins at the bottom part of the body that's blue. Good. Just add the sequins in. They aren't very visible. But okay. Hmm, that angle of the red raspberry. Maybe I'll add here a bit more of these red beads. Red beads plus green flower sequin. We're going to have to let it dry. And while this dries, I will figure out how to make the translucent effect. The eyes, I've added some pearl scent, white acrylic paint, 
because I felt the eyes were barely visible, which wasn't what I wanted. And I also did a red raspberry for the nose. My dad needs to dry, and while things are drying, I hold it by the tail. I think I'll use this organza fabric for the body. Just going to cut that piece of it. And I think I'll cut a bit for the tail insert. And now let's insert it in. Tail translucent. Bit. Hmm. Kind of defeats the point of me doing a raspberry inside the body. The organza fabric wasn't having it, so I used plastic packaging to do this, but I'll have to trim the plastic. Cause she looks like she has to have some treatment straight out of the vet so that's not what I wanted so I had to trim it The raspberry flies everywhere, so I have to keep on gluing and gluing it, and it's me doing it while the glue hasn't dried, so that's what. Some of this raspberry here. I think I'll glue this down with some raspberry. Plastic has been added. Now it needs to dry, then I'll trim the plastic. And here I'll put a bow. And then I'll think of something for the ears. Lichia dried, so the eyes turned a different color because this is pearl scent acrylic paint, so I'm just going to go over that in white. That wasn't the result I was expecting, but it happens. And the translucency through the plastic looks good. I was really trying to get it looking like a macaron but also like a cat okay that needs to dry and i think she needs ears
I think I'm going to use these dewdrop gemstones or rhinestones going to cut them and then use that for the ears let's glue it on Looks more like a cat, now another one goes on. That's better. Now we're going to trim the excess plastic off it. Or off her because the plastic has some edges needing to be cut off. Okay, here and there are going to need red bows in order to hide the unevenness so while the ears are drying and the eyes I'm going to make the red bows because that's still Lichia symbol so let's give her the symbol I actually decided to add a bow here for the toe beans, use green sequins and work with that raspberry there. Less translucent, but it looks good. I wonder what the LED light bulbs will do to it. So I'm going to turn off the big light. Let's see if it's effective. It works. But the bow keeps coming off. However, that works somehow. Pink, blue, pink, blue. The bow fell off, but that light up feature works better without it. I'll just put it on somewhere else, maybe on her head. I hope when this dries, it will hold better. This side, well, I don't like how it looks, but. I can just never show it in certain photos and always have her pose like this. Just like that, but this has to dry all of it before I can do the eyes. But the light up feature is amazing show you it again and it brings out the raspberry inside better on the macaron body Okay, let's let it dry. Everything dried, now it's time to give her the eyes. 
Dalecia needs just going to draw the people's with a ball pen then I'm going to give her pink irises because you know I was thinking of red irises but I thought pink would look better just because it's Lichia okay now we need to give her eye shines give her eye shines Okay, let me read the for peoples and that I real quick and then we're going to add the eye shines and I'm going to get the black marker to give her eyelashes done that needs to dry everything dried the raspberries through the plastic i really like has grown on me this area looks okay it would have just looked better after it dries and I can see some sparkles inside it. I did consider hiding this, but it looks okay. We're not going to hide it that. And I like the green toe beans that adds the minty elements. The face looks better on camera than in real life. And there is a raspberry nose. I can see hints of green in the face. But I've tried. And I really like this Lechia, the minty one, how it came out. I wasn't sure if I would like it at first, due to the directions they were coming in at. But it turned out I love it after it all dried. Maybe I just needed to let things dry. Minty Nicholas Mellow Nye has his Minty Lechia. Please tell me what you think of Minty Lechia. And bye, Chef Jack. See you in another video. Bye. Thank you.